Why do you have to take off your rainbow shoes? Because the dirt in my rainbow oh, That's okay. Sebastian, do you like the orange car? Yeah. Oh, you really like the black car. Oh no, we're gonna go inside the truck here in just a second so we can get going. One thing. Yep. There you go. Okay, let's let it sleep. It hasn't been inside a garage for 36 years. Can you close the door? Oh, all right. He wants to sleep. Come on, Willow. Does it look a little bit more clean now? It does. Come on, let's. Can you close the door for me? No, not yet. Maybe when you're older. Cause look at those buttons, Daddy. I know. That's the steering wheel. Mm-hmm. The steering, the steering wheel. Mm-hmm. And what's one you like? You like the color blue button? Mm-hmm. Oh, you make a pancake with this. Make a pancake? Yeah. I'm not going this side, Daddy. Uh-oh, no, not yet. deal with this later, I guess. Oh, good. Well, got to start somewhere. That doesn't help us. Neither does that. Trying to do something with it. They never finished. Wacky. Well, okay, so I've made a few videos, but nothing uh, nothing really serious has happened since then. I've just been kind of poking and looking and figuring out stuff like look at the original tire. Yikes. Uh, but the correct original tire size for these, is, which is 165 slash 65, they're, they're hard to find. I have found them, but not too many companies make them anymore. Uh, but they're coming. I'm just amazed that this ancient, ancient, ancient tube is actually holding pressure. If it wasn't for this section, clearly it's been sitting in the mud. If it hadn't been for that, these tires would... Um, I, I could leave them on for the time being until the car's ready to actually roll, but they're in such poor shape that uh, that would just be foolish. I've been doing a few things. Uh, see how the, I've been, I cleaned up this side. Those are all rust holes through the floorboard there. 
believe me, I've seen much, much worse. Oh my goodness, yes. Uh, this side is the worst. That's a hole right through the floorboard in the front into the wheel well. But uh, it, like I said, I've seen, I've seen much, much worse. The right way to do this is to cut out the floor plane entirely. The, cut out the floor, um, floor pans entirely. I don't know that I'm gonna go with that nuts. I might patch them uh, just for the time being. I don't know, we'll see. I have the, the, why is this thing so fuzzy? Anyway, I have, uh, I have some options on that for the short term. My big thing is I wanna make sure, I need to go through the, I have the tires coming, and then I'm gonna have the tires completely rebuilt, but I've gotta have the, um, the rims checked and painted and redone. But the next big thing, this guy, the guy who owned this thing, even though he left it sitting for 30 years in the forest, he was worried that someone was gonna steal it. So he went and he cut the coil wires so that it couldn't run. He didn't just unplug them, he cut them. So that's, that's gonna be a challenge, but not a big one. I've gotta pull this thing out and uh, clean the bay and everything else like that. Got a ton of little parts that need to come in before I can really get things going. I still laugh about the mouse house damage there. I had it cleaned out from over there. There was a mouse house in there, but that's cleaned out. Lots to do, lots to do. Okay. Well, 36 years, I did some very, very basic electrical patching. Uh, I just kind of looked things over real quick. I tightened some stuff, and cleaned up some connections. Yeah, baby! So it's definitely a runner. Now the, the previous owner, he, um, I don't know what he was thinking. He left it to rot for 30 something odd years. And then right with about the time that his wife told him that he had to get rid of it, he started fiddling with it again. But I think he did something wrong with the oil filter because I'm getting this horrible, like basically all the oil is just pumping out of it. it means the oil pump works, but this, uh, this cartridge type oil filter, it doesn't look like it has the right seals because it's blowing oil everywhere. Thankfully, I put a pan under the engine, but it's still not getting everything. But baby, it runs. That's wild. Cool, okay. <laughs> 